Hi guys and welcome to Urban Blueprint Calculator. I'm going to enter some value in here. Yeah. And that's the total carbon footprint. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take you guys straight into C sharp development environment and we'll put one of these together. Hi guys and welcome to Carbon Footprint Calculator. So I'm going to start by clicking on create new and this project is in C sharp. Next, I'm going to select C Sharp Windows Forms application. So you can always search for that right here. Let's click on next. Let's give our project a name. I'm going to call that CS underscore carbon underscore footprint underscore. Let's say calculation. There we go. That's the name of my project. Let's click on create. There. Okay, my development environment is ready. So let's just drag the form that much. So, so that will do. Now I'll come straight to the toolbox. Now I'm going to need just a button. Three labels. One, two, and three. Then three text box. One, two, and three. And now one more label really. So we have one text box here. Another one here. There we go. First label, I'm going to need one label for my output. So, one label here and another one here. Okay, let's grab hold of the button. We just dump that in here. This will be for the results. So, copy that. Select it all. Let's go straight to, to the properties and get the, uh, the font improved to something we can see. So, I'm going to make that, let's say, about 30. Yeah, that will do. There we go. Now, so let's select it all and rearrange it all properly. And that's it. Looking good so far. Now, this is the button. And that very button, I'm going to change the name to BTN Calculate. And the text content on it is going to be known as calculate. There we go. And here, this is going to be the result. So in the case of the result, I'm going to call that LBL results. Let's pin this down. That become LBL results. And the other one that would be for the display. This would be this would just display a result alone. Come right down here. Okay. And you see this very one that will be displaying the result. I'm going to change one or two of its properties where we have auto size. I'm going to change that to force. Back color, leave it the way it is. Border, uh, border style, I'm going to make that fix 3D. That's fine. And we get rid of the test content we have in there. So that will do. So let's come right down here, get rid of the text content. Delete. And the next one here that is going to be transport. Let's change that to transport. There we go. On this text box in front of it, that's going to be TXT transport. Next is going to be fuel. So the text box right in front of it, TXT fuel. And finally, this is going to be known as electricity. And this is going to be known as TXT electricity. There we go. They all have their own respective names now. Okay, the next thing we want to do now is to put together some lines of codes. Alright, so let's come in here, double click on the calculate button. First of all, let's define the emission. Okay, the emission factors. And this we include in kilogram. Then we have uh, in kilogram the CO2. Then uh, let's say in percent unit, in percent unit. In per, uh, per unit okay then underneath here I'm going to create a double variable and I'll just call that electricity let's change that to lowercase electricity emission should be an L here factors now we can just factor down there copy that paste that right here and that is going to be 0 0.5. Okay, that is the electricity emission factor. 
and that's actually par kwh okay next we create another double variable and that is going to be for the fuel emission factor and in this case fuel emission factor is going to be 2.3 and that will be per liter now we want the transport factor let's come down here and just yeah i can just copy all of this dump it and change it around so this is going to be for the transport transport emission factor that will be let's say 0 0.1 and that is our kilometers all right now that that is done the next thing we want to do is we want to be able to retrieve user input so let's say let's just say retrieve user input now let's start with the electricity factor first so i'm going to grab all of these so we say double paste that in there double electricity usage and that is going to be equals double dot pass. And what are we passing in there? That's going to be txt electricity dot text dot text. So we've got that. The next one is going to be for the fuel usage. So that's going to be double as well. Fuel usage that is going to be fuel usage in this case that to be fuel there we go sorted next is going to be the transport usage and this is TXT transport and this will be transport usage we're getting the users usage now that is taken care when i need to then calculate the emission now let's start by i'm just going to grab hold of all of this i will use that for my calculation dump it here drop grab hold of all of these copy paste now for the calculation that will be electricity emission electricity emissions so we get rid of the factors so in the case of electricity emission that is going to become emission usage this very one and we're going to multiply that by the emission factor this one multiply by emission factor there we go first one done the next one is fuel emission so the fuel emission in this case, as you can tell, is going to be fuel usage. I will multiply that by I'm gonna accept that. There we go. Next is the transport emission. In case of transport emission, we get hold of the transport usage. I will multiply that, accept that, that is correct. So this is the, here, let me just enter, calculate emission. There we go. Next, we now want to sum up everything. So I'm going to come down here, let's say double. And that is going to be calculate total emission. Yeah, we can just put that there, calculate total emission. And this is going to become total emission. Notice that is going to become electricity emission and we're going to add that to the fuel emission yeah that's that and we add the transport emission as well except that and i should take care of the total calculate total emission next we now want to display Let's come down here and just say LBL result is going to be equals as follows total emission. I'm going to accept this and just modify things around. So, total emission that is correct, but let's do it this way. I want you to tell me the units and so on. So, let's come here first and I'm going to say in dollars. I want it to display as follows. Let's say total 
carbon footprint. Total carbon footprint that will be undo that. Total carbon footprint. And that is going to be this enter coil braces in here to take care of that. And yes, well, F2 and that will give us kilogram. There we go. Okay, let's make this one. Let's change this. That should be CO2. Yeah, I'll do the same thing for this one here. So there we go. Right, so if I run it now, I should be able to calculate the carbon footprint. Let's see. Enter some value in here. Let's see. And here we go, the total. Okay, let's display that properly. So I'm not coming here. Let's extend this a little bit more so that you guys can see it. All right, so let's do that one more time. Try it again. Run. Enter some value in there. There we go, look at that. So you can see total carbon footprint is 207.3. Kilograms. So let's, and that's it, and that's how you create your own carbon footprint calculator. So I'm going to show you guys the lines of codes one more time, then uh, just call it the end of this tutorial. So come right here. There, those are the lines of codes. Well, if you want, you can always, because the user can end up entering invalid data in there. Let me show you what's going to happen if I do that. You will end up with an error, really. So if I there enter any value in there that is invalid, check this out. That's going to give us an error. See that? So to take care of that, I'm going to use try, try, cash, try. Okay, let's put a cash statement in here. Let's do help with an error and underneath here close that then right below it I'm going to enter my hash statement so exception ex I'm going to accept that come right down here take that out and here my message box that will display let's say message message box I'd like you to show the following that's error message let's say error Error, please enter valid number. There we go. That should take care of that. Please enter valid number, and we can put a title for it. Just underneath the comma, say input error. Close that. That's another argument. Let's add one, two more arguments. Okay, I'm going to just close this so that I can add two more arguments. The next one is going to be message box. I'm going to accept OK. Let's just accept all of this message box OK and message box icon error. So let's try this out. Oh, at the same time, let's just get it to clear the whole system. If there's any error, let's clear it. Accept this and clear. There we go. And you can enter another one. TXT electricity plant. TXT fuel plant. There we go. All right, run. And we enter invalid. Whatever in there. Click. Message displays. There we go. Look at that. Okay. We can even set the focus. Let's say TXT 
Oh yeah, it's this very one. Copy that. Just set the focus the dot focus. There. So I'm gonna run that one more time. Now run. Okay, then just some invalid data in there. Yep, invalid. You can see the title, uh, invalid message. Click on that and you can see the cursor there. Okay, so let's just enter some value and take that out. And that's how you create your own carbon footprint calculator. So with that guys, I'm going to call it the end of this tutorial. I suppose you guys enjoy it and please do subscribe to my channel and you can also join to become a member of the channel. You all have a nice day now. Bye for now.